Right, we're back. Yes, we've got a lot of snow outside. Got the important stuff done. Coffee's here. Right, let's strip this down, shall we? Oh, it's been a while since I've done anything on like it. Anyway, to be honest. Mess with them. So I suppose we'll get some screwdrivers. Jesus. This is what I love. It's really good because they just. Everything's just jammed on there and hope for the best. Oh, my days. How long has that been on there? Longer than a week, I tell you that, boys and girls. Longer than a bloody week. Get out, yes, sorry, you thing. Oh, there you are. Come on, so I don't want to take that freaking housing off, because you know, I'll take that off. They're studs. I don't want to snap off in here, don't they? Yeah, I know that for sure. One. Uh, we'll go to the radiator. Anyway, I hope you ain't got bloody water in it. Huh. It's not like you people. Or... <laughs> we shall find out, shall we? Well, I'll put me people. This thing looks rusty as shit. Dang. Let's see if we can get this one off. Fucking Jesus. Oh, fuck. I believe that goes on there, shall I? See, these bloody mini things, man. Oh, I'm saying. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. There's something dripping. There's something dripping. Let's go try it, shall we? Yeah. Please, this one. Drain. Drain people. Does anybody know? I don't know, so I don't know. So it's turning. It's not turning. Yep, it's coming out. I see this being a wet experience. Jesus, that's stiff. Yeah, yeah. Water down with the best people. It's a bit rust there. I'm taking the cap off for it, but hoses off. Come on. Hopefully there's not a lot in here. Hopefully. There's chunks of rust though. Mm, that's it. Ish. God, that's, that's what you call rust. Is it? Nasty. I might have to tip the engine as well to get it out of the engine. Damn. Yuck, look at that. Minis. Bloody minis. Oh, I'm going to drop you on time now because this is just going to take forever in a day. This is.
Right, it's in, people. Just uh, tightening down the uh, jig things. It went on there easier than I thought, to be honest. I thought it was going to be a bit of a game, but. Do that. These are dulled as well, these are. I'm starving. I had a bowl of cereal so far. in ground clearance of the sump where the shocks are going to be and relative to the engine and the support beam that they have going between the top of the two shocks so basically it supports the shocks in a bit of a strut brace but it also supports the bonnet so I've got something to work to I mean this the engine that's going in this is a seven port Seven or eight, these are seven pulls. But I'm still going to make sure there's space for a five pull. So I've got a Weber inlet, I've got some 45s, and I'll chuck it together so I know it. If he ever changed his mind, the option is there, do you know what I mean? rocking but she's in so now I know the engine position don't I what are you sniffing yeah I know the engine position I know the ground clearance which is just enough the chassis is slightly lower as you, you can just about make out down the back because it's on the table. Um, I think we're going to have plenty of room around here. I mean, the shocks are going to be literally behind the engine. So, yeah, loads of room. And the height isn't so bad either if I come down with the rock cover. See? Right. Right, people. So, we have an engine in the frame, frames down on the table, square and straight with the chassis. We've got some running gear on there. We've got an LCB, which is just off the table. Well, she's probably now just kissing, but the engine is still free. I've dropped one of my Webers on there. Now this car is going to have a five port, no, a seven port, I think, or an eight port. So I'm not sure, but I'm thinking I'd like to see if I can still make it run a five port in case somebody decides they want to change. Right, so that's something we're going to have to take into account because my shocks are here. Which is quite lower than that. So we're going to have to come up and either up and over the complete Weber if I put the bar behind. But I won't know. I mean, I know you can get these a lot lower down manifold than this. This is quite a high <coughs> manifold. So if you went to like Bag Sport, he makes them. They're pretty much level. The main thing is we've got to get the rocker cover square. So the engine square suspension this is different hubs i couldn't get the drive shafts out of them hardy spices and i've centralized the shaft in the cv joint that is set at ride height 
So the shafts have got a nice angle to them. We are about an inch off my table. Yeah. So it can probably come down another inch. But we're gonna start getting close to the top arm. I mean, I know once this, this has gone, to get that up to there is, you know, it's quite a, a dramatic angle. Yeah? So it's in anyway, and it's on. So the drive shafts are at a nice angle. Subframe's nice. Right. So yeah, it's there, it's ready. Now I need to start building this back end so we can get this actually braced up to this. And I've got the Weber in there so I can make sure that if I run any bars at an angle, we try and go around it. If not, it's just not gonna be able to run a Weber on the back. It's just gonna be five port only, seven port even. So ideally you wanna to come to here through, which is directly where the Weber is. But we'll see if I can change my design to, you know, compensate for it, but we'll see. Yeah, because if somebody ever wants to go a turb, put a turbo engine in, here, the car comes out the back anyway. I'm gonna call it off here now. I gotta go in and have some tea and, yeah, that's a quick update. And we'll uh, probably crack on tomorrow-ish, maybe. Try and work out some angles for the shots. Right, thanks for watching people. See you later.